I'm Matt from the Pickleball Clinic, and today we're gonna go through an offensive dinking strategy so that you can earn more pop-ups when you're in a dink rally and go on offense. So a lot of players, especially in that 3-5 to 4-0 range, won't really do too much with their dinks. They get their dinks in the court very often, but they're not moving them around and hitting them offensively. What players of the 4-5 plus, 5-0, and pro level do is they're always having a purpose with their dinks where they're trying to be offensive and get their opponent to pop the ball up so they can earn an opportunity to attack. So what we're gonna work on here is one of the most basic strategies. I actually learned this from Ben Johns. He talks about this a lot, where what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a target on the court and that's gonna be my opponent's inside foot and outside foot. So by inside foot, I'm referring to the foot that's closest to the center line. And by the outside foot, I'm referring to the foot that's closest to the sideline. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to move my opponent out wide and then jam them in the middle so that they're moving back and forth, hitting far from their body and then hitting close to their body. And that discrepancy in positioning is hopefully gonna cause them to pop the ball up so I can attack with a roll volley or a speed up. So here's gonna be the dink rally here. So I'm in this rally, right now I'm going right to them, but now I'm gonna try to pull them out wide. And I come back in and then I go back out wide. So I'm constantly moving him around the court. So this is also a great strategy if you're trying to target a person on one side of the court because you can keep the ball close enough to the target side without getting it so close to the middle that the other partner is able to get it. 